People have lost the ability to smile. But they have everything. They have all the money in the world and uh, all these modern conveniences. What's the matter with the people? People have gotten so far away from the natural way they should be living that they have lost the ability to be happy anymore. You hear these people, they never had enough money hardly for food. They never knew what it was to have an automobile or any modern conveniences, radio or television or any of these things, not even enough clothes to wear. But they were happy. That's the important thing about life, students, is to be happy. What's the good of living? What's the good of making a lot of money? What's the good of having fine clothes and driving a fancy automobile if you're miserable all the time? Eat the foods in their natural state because we have gotten so far away from our natural eating habits, it's pathetic. Eat more fresh food, fresh vegetable, lean cuts of meat. And another thing is to get more physical activity because we know that this wonderful body of ours cannot be functioning right, it can't be happy, and it can't repair itself properly if you don't give it the right amount of exercise. And we also know if you don't get enough exercise each day, it affects your mind. Your mind worries, you have these tensions and frustrations that people have too much, and you're just kind of down in the dumps, and your body is hanging and sagging, your face is hanging and sagging, everything is down. It's not conducive to smiling and being happy. It's a magical thing. I understand the, the pleasure, joy of it. It's a beautiful process to go, it's like any invention or anything starts with an idea and the idea then gets manifested in, in the material world. It's, it's a beautiful process and many, many internal rewards in the, in the doing. If you obey nature's laws, you can be born again. How do people die? Most people work at dying. They don't work at living. You gotta eat right. You gotta exercise and think right. Yeah, I, get, I work out like five or six in the morning. To leave a hot bed, leave a hot woman, go into a cold gym, that's dedication, boy. You ain't kidding. Ladies and gentlemen, it matters not what your present condition is. It matters not what your age is. If you obey nature's laws, you can be born again. Anything in life is possible. What can't we do? Limit is right between your ears. I have a new Corvette. Would I put water in a gas tank? It wouldn't run, would it? Your human machine's no different. You put junk in here, junk out. You put good life, vital foods in the body, energy and vitality comes out. What do you think these 80 trillion cells in your body are made of? The food you put in your mouth. Who puts the food in your mouth? Did God ever come and eat breakfast for you? I never heard. Five o'clock in the morning, I work out. Jack, this is Jesus I'll work out for you today. God helps them that help themselves. Don't blame God. Don't blame the government. Blame yourself. You made it happen. You help you.
You know, I like to think of life as a, as a battlefield. Every morning when we open our eyes, we wake up, we have a battle on our hands. Either you are going to win the battle that day or you're going to lose it. You're going to have life working for you or you're going to be working for life. If you want to make up your mind that you are a soldier and this life is the battlefield, you can win it. Every morning, this is the thing. Every day is the battle. Not tomorrow or yesterday, but today. Win today's battle and you have life made. We have to take responsibility for us.